Yeah, when you're here, you have to kind of talk loud. Um, I'll start by saying that uh, Y Music came about a few years ago. It started off with a couple um, artists in the city of Cleveland that came to our uh, cafe when it was open. We had a little stage. And I started assisting young artists. It turned into a program working with a nonprofit. And we started uh, doing inner city on the near west side of Cleveland. So the program actually helps to not teach kids how to play instruments. They're already coming to us extremely talented. You have to know how to play before you come. Um, but it's opening up a whole different world for them in recording, band, team, uh, different music experiences. Most of them come from classical training. Uh, Cleveland does not have any programs between 13 and 21 that don't cost a lot of money for kids to get into. So there's no outlet um, once they become 13 to go on with their music, especially if the families can't afford it. And so this allows that outlet. And every year we do a performance with the Music Settlement in Cleveland, which is also a nonprofit. And we do one big performance where we bring international artists in. So these kids work all year long to do this performance. And uh, it's called a Youth Music Awareness in Cleveland, where we have other groups come in and they work with the Boys and Girls Club of America. And they get to experience collaboration. Um, and again, like I said, different genres of music, working together, uh, what it is to burn midnight oil, staying in a recording studio for 12 hours, uh, workshops, working on original music. And like, why don't you tell them what you've gotten out of the program? One thing I got out of the program was this, first of all. This was just amazing coming to hear the name. Uh, I've gotten in, I've gotten a lot. I've been able to meet artists that I grew up, that my, my, my mom grew up listening to, and I grew up listening to, and then to actually meet them, it's like, wow, you guys are legends. <laughs> How am I meeting you? <laughs> and it's like, it's, it's a lot to take in, but it, it's really good. It, it's, it's amazing. And what instruments do you play? I play piano, bass, and violin. And you said you've been on stage with who? I've been on stage with uh, Larry Mitchell. I can't remember all the names. I know Larry Mitchell. The, uh, Sean, who was that? Who was the uh, Grammy Award winning bassist? I can't. I can't remember the other ones. <laughs> no. You got to meet. Kind of, you got uh, to meet uh, Rich Spina, which is with uh, uh, Peter Newman, Herman's Herman. Sermon. I got to meet Terrace Lewis guitarist. Uh, well, that's been a good experience, then. Oh. And so you've been. been the bass player, former bass player Molly Hatchet and a few other people. And what they do is these people come in. I have mentoring musicians. We're always looking for mentoring musicians. We know, like I told you, it's, they, they can't give a week, one even one day a week. But if they can give one show or, you know, one day a month, or even just come in once a year, we do um, workshops where they teach the kids about protecting your hearing. Other things in the industry, like uh, production. You know, everything that goes behind the scenes. Like you. <laughs> you, know, um, you know, we have sound. We're implementing the sound and learning how to do the setup, sound setup. Um, every aspect of the industry. Uh, you know, you ask a kid, well, if you write a song, what does it mean to pitch it? They don't know. So we teach them what it means to go out and pitch your music and why it's important and how to get your music out there and to feed off of each other. So if I have one that plays by ear and one that's only comfortable reading the music, we mentor them together and the kids feed off of each other so they learn teamwork, um, responsibility, and the good and bad that goes with being musicians. <laughs> so basically, right? I've also, uh, they opened a new uh, public high school in Cleveland for digital arts. So where it's all the behind the scenes stuff, you have film production, music production, game design, and graphic design. And 
I learned a lot about music production actually going there. That's actually it's like it's a really like it's a clean public school, but it's a really good school. Like all the kids there thrive and they wanna do they wanna do what they're going there for. And it, it's a really good environment. And I've learned also a lot from that and it's helped me with our um, program. So when she says it's helping with the program is that these little things the kids are learning, they don't actually have a chance to implement them. So the program is not just about the growth, it's about giving them the opportunity to implement some of the things that they are learning or have learned. And realizing, wow, I can do more with this, I can go somewhere else with this. Um, and sometimes it takes them in a different direction. So, yeah. And uh, we're always open, 13 to 21. Our last group was, uh, right, we, uh, we've had a whole band of all autistic children, um, but great. Hey, I'm not autistic. You're not. You're just a uh, pain. I know. <laughs> so. Well, I'm glad you came by and Thank you. introduced yourself and told us more about your program. I think you're doing good work. Thank you very much. It's great to see yeah. someone that's actually been through it. Yes. We could definitely use more people. Please come. <laughs> and she wants to have her own rock band. And enjoy the rest of your time here at NAMM. Thank you. Go look at some guitars. <laughs>